All right, Tamar Braxton went on Instagram Live to clear the air about being spotted with Jeremy Robinson. Watch this clip. I'm not in any kind of love triangle. <laughs> I am the happiest I have been. We announced the breakup. The breakup happened because of I think that we need to normalize females when it's us. I'm not blaming myself. I'm taking accountability. All right. She's taking accountability from that. And people always complain and say they never hear a black woman apologize or take accountability like it's like seeing a Loch Ness monster or a leprechaun or a Sasquatch. Here y'all have it, y'all. What do you think about Tamar taking the blame for her breakup with Jeremy? Funky rolling your eyes very hard. What do you think about this? Um... I love Tamar. You know, me and Tamar, after years and years and years, we finally got to a good space. So I'm, I'm going to choose my words very carefully here. Um, I don't believe it. Uh, I, I think Tamar is being a little reactive to what people have been saying on social media. I think she's one of those media personalities who's a little sensitive to the comments. And the main reason why I don't believe it is because it's giving me... Um, I got tipsy and I'm in my feelings at the club, so I decided to go live because you you know why in this moment, girl, why why next is playing in the background at the club, you know what I'm saying? All of a sudden did the urge to go live hit you. We can't even hear. We can't even hear, sis. So that's that's giving me a real the brown liquor don't set in, my, my feelings and emotions don't set in, and let me talk about it now. And maybe she just had to get it off her chest. And maybe, she, you, you know, again, like the previous story, everybody, if we just all keep our relationship stuff off of social media, then we wouldn't have to get on social media while we waiting on our lemon pepper wings because y'all know she was waiting on a six piece. We wouldn't have to get on social media while we wait on the six piece in our next Long Island to explain our decision. I wish I would get on Beyonce's internet and explain to y'all anything I'm doing with any of my romantic partners. Al? Uh, I'm going to agree with what I so made Kristen R. No, no, no. Yeah. What Kristen R. said. Bye, Tamar. Go on to the next thing, Claudia. <laughs> you know, I think, um, you know, when you're a, a, a woman and uh, you're single, you get so criticized. Then you're a man, you get a man, every little thing. And then you break up. Like we're so valued whether we have a man or not. I think it's like, it drives, I know it drives me crazy. I feel like when Tommy posted, um, oh boy, Tamar really felt like she had to clean that crap up and like snatch show that he is with her. So I think she's kind of just, I won't say overdoing it, but she's really letting us know, nah, like that's, she's trying to like make us forget about that Tommy thing. I, th I think that really bothered her. And it would bother me too. I'd be annoyed too. So I think she's like really trying to really cement that they're good. And I think that's why she's giving us more than we need to have. You know, it's sad. Uh, uh, but it, 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 the, the funny thing about it is it, it, it's also too though, she she's shifting the narrative, right? Because when it came out, it made it seem as if he broke up for her and he damn near called her unhealthy for him and all these different things. The tone of the breakup definitely gave he initiated it. Mm -hmm. And Tamar allowed that to be the tone and the messaging up until this point. And we all know Tamar has no issue getting online, saying how she feels or clearing something up. So I just find it uniquely peculiar that now all of a sudden she wants to take responsibility for the breakup because it makes her look better in this situation. It, it, it makes it look like, no, y'all, I'm not running back to him. I'm actually the one that broke up with him. So it's okay if I'm back with him because I broke up with him. You know what I'm saying? That That's what it's giving to me. It's giving me a shift the narrative tease. And Tamar, to be honest with you, sis, I don't think we care one way or another. We don't like that. We Whether you broke up with him or not, we don't like the way that sassy man wrote that letter on you. <laughs> we don't like the way that sassy man wrote that letter, sis. And all I'm going to say, Tamar, you know, as you and I continue to build our relationship and our friendship, sis, keep your business off of social media. Matter of fact, I, I might even text you when, when, when we get off. Just keep it off of social media, 
there we don't even have to discuss you on panel shows. Honestly, social media is ruining so many aspects of real life, uh, sanity. Um, just it's really playing a really negative role in a lot of people's lives. It really is, especially those that are on it a lot, like myself and Tamar.